And I had no idea. And I found like there's this developer blog on the internet where they talk about yeah, it, it's like it's like uh, I don't know if they're like Iceland. I don't know. It's for, like from some other country. They're like yeah. So I saw they came out uh, last uh, Wednesday, and we got this uh, surge of hits, and we don't know where it came from. <laughs> and, and then we see this video, and it's so funny. Send you Mega 64 for the advertisement. It's like I didn't. Know. <laughs> You want that app? Shotgun free, it's a good app. Oh, yeah, I shot it. We abbreviate pretty much everything and just add a, a Y to Try it. make it as yeah, annoying as I think that started with somebody called Footage Footy. <laughs> Which doesn't make it any short, it's the same amount of syllables. <laughs> it's just more annoying. So we just adapted that. Thank you all for coming out to our panty. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed our videos. <laughs> Happy to be a PRP. That was just dumb. <laughs> What's your most preferred uh, next gen console? Um, I'm sorry, I'm kidding. No, the, the PlayStation 4. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The, the current uh, next gen. <laughs> Yeah, we're done. Right. It was, uh, 
Uh, should we go to a few more locations? Yeah, I'm thinking about three, four more places, and that happened. It was just like, oh, we're good. Let's go to Fun Ruckers. You know? That was a fun place. Get rough. Get rough. Who here likes Fun Ruckers? Woo! I got good ass burgers. Jalapeno cheddar. We're not actually going to ask a question on 364. Please sit down. This is now Fun Ruckers dedication. What's your favorite topping? Anybody in the ostrich burger from Frederick? Oh, I didn't think so. Okay. <laughs> uh, but you guys recently had any like problems or anything like that with people like threatening you or anything like that? Uh, no. No. It was really confusing. Oh. You know, actually, when we did that punch-up video, oh, yeah. that guy, the guy that was like, oh. "You fucking you with me? You fucking with me?" <laughs> he came up to Rocco afterwards and he walked up to him real scary. He's like, "You think that's funny? <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny?" <laughs> I don't think you know what to say. I, I just said, like, yeah, I think it was pretty funny. It's <laughs> like, that, that going on the internet? Uh, is, that, is that okay if you're in it? And it was really confusing because he was like, being a Mr. Tough Guy, and then he was like, yeah, yeah, no, that's funny, yeah. We were like, okay, cool. And then he went, just cut out, just cut, cut it out. <laughs> so, wait, can we not use it? Yeah, just, you know, just cut me, cut, cut us out, cut me out. No, it's fine. So That's apparently we can place. use the footage of him if we cut him out of it. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. So it went in. <laughs> hey, um, I'm starting my own web series pretty soon. Um, it's still kind of in production. Uh, do you have any advice just to uh, somebody starting? <laughs> oh, real quick, did you go to the Hay Ash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was awesome. Was it cool? Yeah. Woo! That's, cool. That's good. Great. Um, no, yeah. I think kind of the same thing we always say is, what, keep it short. Yeah, keep it short. Keep it short. Like, if you, if you put it on YouTube, is that what you Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no one wants to watch, like, a 10-minute YouTube video when they don't know really what yeah. it is. Even if you do know what it is, you probably don't want to watch it. So, like, under four minutes. Yeah, that just, really yeah, long, long run times just will scare people off. That's really, just keep, even, even if you think it's dumb, whatever, keep, keep making stuff. And, uh, but just make it short enough to where people will check out 20 of them instead of just, you know, oh, this is kind of going on. Because some people get caught up in, oh, this is going to be really good. And maybe it is a good idea, but then they think you can sustain, like, 45 minutes. And then it's kind of... Yeah. I honestly think one of the best videos we did was at the bookstore, and that's, like, 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and even that was probably too long. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, thanks, Andrew. Thanks. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks. What's actually, what's it going to be about? Can you say um, it's kind of going to be like this uh, sketch comedy. It's going to be kind of like whitest kids you know, kind of oh. video games kind of, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> whitest nerds. Whitest, whitest nerds. nerds. You might know. <laughs> did you see the whitest kids you know, like they did a movie? Yeah. yeah. But how come they can only get, did you know about the whitest kids you know put out a movie, it's but they fun. only could get two of the people from whitest kids you know? Yeah, like, it's like, yeah. You couldn't all just commit the time? Yeah, yeah well, here we make this movie. I'm out. I'm out of it. <laughs>
to like get through school with like people. There is a, just so yeah, I haven't gone to school in like a couple of years, and so I'm going back just to uh, just a couple classes, and I'm just like, oh yeah, I remember. It's always the guy who says things, and this guy won't shut up. It's like, she has a picture of a rock or a crystal. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> that crystal's huge! <laughs> well, then, this is getting way derailed now, but we've been encountering that, that person way more often in movies lately, too. We kind of talk, talked about this on our podcast, but seriously, we went and saw, we went and saw Up, the Pixar movie Up. It's a great movie. And you would expect, okay, you go to see a Pixar movie, you expect kids to react, you know, like, oh, or whatever, you know, you expect that, okay. But seriously, someone our age, you know, mid twenties, the entire movie, like something happened to the dog in the movie. <laughs> oh man, that dog is sad. <laughs> and even I, I won't spoil the end of the movie. It's a really good movie, but literally it ends, and there's a really sad note at the. I mean, it's bittersweet. You know, it's not I guess sad, but it's a really emotional part towards the end. And literally, this guy goes, "Well, I guess things went exactly how they wanted to, didn't it?" <laughs>
Fighter is like <laughs> so much more of an acceptable answer. <laughs> I almost cried during Titanic. <laughs> when, when those old people get into bed together oh, and the music is playing, that's fucking sad. I don't care. <laughs> they may not have a soul, but I almost cried then. When the mom is reading the kids a story, the one that's going through the room, that's sad too. Shoot. The, uh, you know what, no, the end of Titanic, the very end, at the end, like the very, literally the last scene where she's like young again, that got to me too. That got to me too, and oddly enough, Superman Returns. <laughs> which, which I liked once, but then when I saw it again, I was, I was like, oh, this was fine the first time. But, uh, when Superman goes to visit his son, for whatever reason, like I wasn't even thinking, I was just kind of like getting choked up. It was like, what's going on? It was like, it was like the whole father-son thing. And then it was like, did I have like daddy issues? Or something? <laughs> I did. It was like the Actually, father abandons his son. That was awesome. I don't know what it was. That was really weird. The I was party. Like, thinking, I was just watching it, and then I was just like, wait, what? what? I think I'm pretty sure I know what part you all cried at. Like, up, which isn't the part that I found the saddest. The saddest part of up to me was this is a minor spoiler, but it's not a big one. Is when he hits that guy in the head, and then it feels just really embarrassing. Yeah, yeah that part was like, like oh. yeah, dude. Bad for you, man. Are he hiding inside his house and you see that guy in the suit just outside and then he puts his hand on the banister? That was creepy. That movie was so good. I know. Yeah. Wait, wait, sorry, one second. Hey, Chris, is that out in the UK yet? Yeah. Why? That was out since May, right? Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I'm sorry. I'm for you. By the way, this is our friend, this is our friend Chris. He, uh, he's from, he's from, he works in Scotland at Real Time Worlds. He's uh, working on ATV. Thank you for taking your shirt off. Yeah. 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 You gotta think about it. You yeah. know what you did. Yeah. What? Is it like? Is it okay? Is it the spot? Can I ask you some questions real quick? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So this girl drew all of our pinuses. <laughs> what was the motivation behind each form? <laughs> <laughs> like mine, mine 
was just kind of like... His is like a turd. Yeah. I don't remember what any of them looked like, except Sean's looked like a jet. Sean's looked like a jet engine. Yeah. Dude, my dick's like jet. It looked like the Concorde. <laughs> Which is accurate, by the way. I mean, like, I'm not going to say if mine was accurate or not, but what was the motivation? Like, what, in, what, what, what behind each one? I based it on your mouths. <laughs> that was the best answer she could have given. That was that's phenomenal. Well done. Follow up question: Did you research pictures of different looking units, or did you recall those images from like past experiences, <laughs> memories? Was that you, or did you base the drawings off of other no, I existing your, things? I went to your photo book. <laughs> I assure you, you didn't find any <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the picture of all the pictures are in that book. I, I have them with me. Oh, I have awesome. your penis. Okay, so yeah, come back, to, come to the booth, and uh, I'll see you. <laughs> that, that is the best quote I've ever heard of. I have uh, your penis. <laughs> I, have, I have your penises in my bag. <laughs> Thank you. Please come to our booth. Thank, Thank you. Back. Are you guys are you guys still planning to do a uh, release? Blu-ray release of version three. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I really want to. Yeah. It's we just really want to. Selfish reasons. I want it for myself. So. Yeah. We really want to. I think it is definitely possible, but no guarantees. Is it going to be widescreen? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, we did it. We did it. Except for the first two. They're all in HD. They're all in HD, and even all the behind the scenes and everything are in HD. Yeah, it's all HD. It's all HD. So, yeah, we'd like to. We just have to figure that out. So it might be a while if anything happens, but I'd love to. That would yeah. be cool. And uh, are, you all, are you guys are planning to do a Mega, Mega 64 times 2? Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. That might be our next season. Like, I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I don't know. Version like, 3, but like, after that. After version think, 3, that's probably going to be our next season. We do uh, make your predictions for the next few times. So, yeah. <laughs> We're trying to think of some good names. We're trying to outdo ourselves as far as technology goes, but... <laughs> <laughs> what if we did one now? Like, what's the cover? This is just text and it's oh. That's like an inconvenience, though. <laughs> but in Japan, perfect. <laughs> we should make the cover look like the binding of a book, and then, like, you know, it's like art, like, literary. Like, intellectual <laughs> DVD, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it fits nicely on your Oh yeah, we always one step behind Tool, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I know. <laughs> okay. So go ahead. Um, I just want to say on behalf of everyone, like, uh, everyone like this, um, thank you so much for all the hours of enjoyment and humor you guys have given us for the past couple of years. Oh. So Sean's, you know, excellent faith costume. Um, 
You held back, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, you know, like the Vaughn costume, the Merchant costume, etc. Uh, do you guys reuse those? Do you do you keep them in storage? Like, what happens to them once you're finished with them? Yeah, for example, like the Donkey Kong uh, costume he uses now to show their boss's costume. Yeah, just oh. like, fight it. <laughs> like a lot of times we just or just pieces we take away from different things and. Whatever, like, that trench coat, whatever, like, we, you, we use that in so many different videos that maybe aren't skits or just, like, video where you need something to do in the trench coat, like. <laughs> um, and also, like, uh, do you guys, like, often make the uh, costume yourself? I've heard that, like, a uh, friend of yours made the Bond costume for the final piece as well, but in regards, like, how often do you have costumes made for you, or do you just scrounge them together and do it yourself? I'd say, I mean, that was, the, I think, the one costume. Besides that, and Garrett made a shot of the costume. I think everything else, I yeah. think if it's... If it's like a fantasy-based game, something with like armor or mythical creatures like Zelda or Final Fantasy or Shadow of the Colossus, we need help with those costumes. But a lot of games, they just wear street clothes. So we hit up yeah. you know, stores. secondhand stores and we keep a lot of the costumes. That's the we general idea. It's, uh, I mean, like, I mean, for example, Mirror's Edge, that was simple. I just got to find like, you know, white capri pants and a black king top. You know, stuff like that, it's really easy. When the more elaborate costumes, either we'll try to find something, figure something out, or we'll find someone who can sew. Yeah, we, we actually had people familiar with cosplaying help with the Final Fantasy costume. Because that just made sense. Yeah. We didn't know how to do that ourselves. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Cool, thank you. It, it is seriously, I, I want to give first of all credit that he didn't just say, let me sell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so much. Yeah. You want a candy? Come here. Come here. <laughs> I want to thank this, everyone at this panel so much. We have made it to the hour mark, and no one has asked if we've ever been arrested. Uh, yeah. and no one has asked, and no one has asked Woo! how we met Shigeru Miyamoto. Which we've we've answered that I think at every single th not not that we get tired Watch, of whatever. That was those guys' two questions, and now he's <laughs> devastated. <laughs> it's like sitting down. Um, okay, in one of your earlier podcasts, you said that. Uh, that the Oregon Trail game was not really necessarily for the next um, generation of gamers. Mm -hmm. But I just want to say that it was probably one of my favorite first person shooters growing up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, I was just wondering if you guys could sign my uh, original copy. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think if I were a superhero, I would probably be opposite man. <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, 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 I want Sean. To, Sean I want to would have the ability to eat cheese because right now he can. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I, Wait, I, is I, anyone else here allowed to call? Is there anyone else here? Yeah. We got. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Cheese. We all want cheese. <laughs> Do all of you guys constantly talk about how you can't handle cheese? <laughs> <laughs> how do you get it? Just eat it. How do you chew it? Chew it. Well, it's fine. Yeah. Also, also flying would be cool. Yeah, flying. Yeah, and also flying. Flying would be so rad. But, okay, but not too high. <laughs> I'm not scared of heights, but that's when I cover. That's you cover. Can, Sean would be able to fly really fast with his jet penis. <laughs> <laughs> Most people fly like this, Sean is. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be like 10 miles back. Wait! <laughs> Can't keep up! Shut up. Melee? Yes. 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 Yeah. You name the date, 
You name the place, I'll be there. It's a party game, not a fighting game. <laughs> what? Smash Bros. is not a fighting game. <laughs> okay. That's right. You don't have to talk about it. You don't have a microphone in front of you. This is a discussion for people who know fighting games. That might be it's a man's discussion. <laughs> he said, they don't party, they fight. <laughs> good, good party. We'll do five stock. Yeah. Any character you want. <laughs> okay, and the second part is if you were a lady's undergarment, which Jesus garment would you be? <laughs> Sir, these are good questions. These are good questions. <laughs> I'd be a sock because I think that's hot. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. A brassiere. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I just thought something I couldn't really think gross. of anything what? better. It was either that or ask you if guys thought you were goons. Guys, what? They were goons. Are we goons? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Would, 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 you, would you admit that you're goons in public? I guess. Okay. <laughs> Which sub forum would you be? He's read the goon, like the comic. <laughs> Dude, that's a sick comic. Eric Powell, amazing artist. Goon, Great artist. Check it out. Okay, I'm done embarrassing myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Kurt Dog here from the forums. Hey, Kurt Dog. Kurt Dog. Doing good. I think anybody might remember me from uh, the Game Boys 8 My Epic uh, Wii Fit review. I think you all would. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's totally the best video ever made. Uh, anyway, uh, got a couple questions for you guys. Uh, what's the creepiest fan you've probably ever encountered? You. Creepiest fan? That guy, that guy might be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the guy that probably isn't here. Okay. Hmm. Uh, or girl. Huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that guy today, so he might really might be here. <laughs> Now every person you saw today is being like, did I say something? Oh, shit. <laughs> no, because this guy wouldn't have... No. Oh. I not think about that. We had... Wow. What about... Remember that one guy that had the Optimus Prime head? Oh. He was kind of creepy. There was a girl one time who drew all our penises. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> there was a girl who hung out at our booth once from beginning to opening to close of Comic Con. Oh yeah. And never left and kept saying, No, nah, it's cool, no, my friends are coming in a minute, and then we're gonna go. <laughs> Rocco, are you, Rocco, are you busy? Are you doing anything right now? Yeah, running a booth. Oh well, you know, if you're not busy, you should go hang out or something. Oh my friends will be here any second. And no nobody ever came. Eight and then and of course Comic Con, eight and a half hours later, Comic Con closed, no friends ever showed up. Oh gosh! Darn, we're close. Oh, I don't have a ride home. Oh, gosh. Well, I don't know what to do. Rocco, what do you think? Yeah, I don't know. Call a cab. <laughs> later. We walked home. And, or, or, we didn't walk home. We, we went home. And then later that night, I got text messages. I'm so sorry I embarrassed myself today. I was like, are you kidding me? I don't know how she got <laughs> Wouldn't be creepy. What? She would have got a ride home. <laughs> I don't know what he meant by that. I threw it out there. You can take how you want. You're like the sneaky guy of the panel. <laughs> That's not what I would have done, Johnny. <laughs> Sorry, that was me. I like I like your commentary. I like your guys. Thank you. I like you. <laughs> hey, whoa. Whoa, ladies, come on. Anyway, uh, next question. Uh, is, there, is there like a video game that you guys love, but everybody seems to just absolutely hate or just think it's crap? Like, yeah. I, Tetris. Tetris? Tetris? No, I'm joking. I love that. I mean, I, uh, I'm pretty much the only person that liked The Simpsons Road Rage. <laughs> no, nope, ever. Yep. I, I just love that game. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry to call you. I'm sorry to call people out, but the cheerleader had the worst look on her face when you said that. It was seriously. Good. It was seriously. Good. It was just like, ah. Uh, 
No, yeah. The you only know, game I loved, I loved, and I don't even remember the title of it, that's how much I loved it, but as a kid, <laughs> Tiny Toons Track and Field, uh, I yeah. think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I, lo I still love that game. So, there you go, Tiny Toons Track and Field. <laughs> um, 50 Cent? There was one, there was, a, this is really nerdy, but there was an RPG for the PlayStation uh, that, remember Sony made an RPG called Legend of Dragoon? Yes! Yeah! It was like, that game ended up being, I remember I just blind bought it in high school, and I got like the worst reviews, because it like, people were saying like, the acting was so bad it brings down the whole game, but I thought it made it better. <laughs> like, th there were cutscenes that were seriously like, you're going to have to watch out for the black demon. The black demon? No! Like, I thought that, I thought it made me want to play more, but other people didn't agree with me. Not me. Like I've, I've never got hate for any of my games. I'm legit. Smash Bros. Oh, Everybody loves Smash Bros. It's gonna be great. Alright, here we go. I feel like there's one. You really like Gyromite. I know, like, a lot of people do. But yeah, that's, but there's nothing wrong with that. I think Gyromite is more nobody played it because they didn't have a Rob. Yeah. I didn't have a Rob either, but I still played the shit out of that game. <laughs> didn't you have, like, some kind of maneuver for two controllers? I would just play with two controllers. If anybody doesn't know, Gyromite was a game you'd play with a Nintendo robot, and he would just press A and B to open up, like, these walls, and maybe they would crush you, or maybe you could run through them. For whatever reason, as a kid, I just got enjoyment of holding the wall open with one controller and running my character through the level with the other. There are like over a hundred levels in that game. And I went through it, yeah. Did, did, what was the consensus on, do you guys remember the game Kid Chameleon on, on Genesis? Yeah. Was that like, did people like that game though? Because did, did, I don't know, for whatever reason, my mom never stopped playing that game. Oh, I'm going to play this game. Because my mom plays video games and... She, it was seriously a period of like 10 years where she wouldn't stop playing Kid And I'm like, I'm pretty sure the world said no to this game. I'm like, stop. No, I'm going to beat the Bagel Brothers. There were literally, there was a boss called the Bagel Brothers. And they were floating heads with earrings that would just make face, it was like, this is not good. Actually, now that I think about it, there are two Super Nintendo games that I really played a lot that uh, nobody else ever did. They were both based on movies, the video game for Hook. <laughs> That's a good game. Dude, you could cut the bush that shot bees at you. It took me like three years to figure that out. <laughs> and the video game for Home Alone 2. Oh. <laughs> Setting up traps. Good stuff. Not as good as Fighting the bird lady for some reason, even though she's your friend in the movie. <laughs> now those are, shit, those are shit compared to We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. What? We're, We're back. back, a dinosaur story. Yeah. That was a good game. Yeah. Did you ever beat, Did anyone ever beat the Home Improvement game on Super Nintendo? <laughs> Is it true? I heard a rumor at the end of the game you actually have to kill your sons. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, game go. sounds better than the show. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy if it really was like that? Like Wilson came out at last. I reveal my identity. <laughs> He's a monster. And then and then he reveals his identity and Tim goes. Oh! I must have the old one then, I don't know, but I got an iPod, so. Um, 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've got a couple things. First off, thanks for the uh, the podcast intro earlier today. You guys made it really awkward. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a recorded podcast intro. And I don't know um, even what we said. We I, I remember Robert kept telling us to shut up because he had a bit. <laughs> and then I told Garrett to shut up so that Robert could do his bit. And then Garrett got mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> So that was so, probably the best podcast intro ever of all time. Um, and uh, two questions. Um, when you guys do your episodes, do you edit, like, do you film an episode and then edit that episode, or do you film everything and then do a mass edit at the end? We uh, usually just edit the episode. We were going to try to just film maybe the last two episodes for this DVD and then edit after that, but we got impatient. It just, yeah, it just works out because we like to see it finished and go, like, oh, hey, we did this and we don't need to do this again, or. This worked. We can do that. You know, just it just I helps think, to see it. I think it's better to focus all your attention on each individual episode. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be spread too thin. Every now and then, it makes sense for us to like. We, maybe we're at a location we're never gonna go to again, and we're just gonna use it again in a later episode. We'll film like both those parts then. But even that's kind of weird. We feel weird doing it. I don't know. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> weird stuff. Weird. Weird. Oh, that weird. Was lame of us. <laughs> yeah, stop. Yeah. Uh, uh, next question is, uh, what are you guys going to do for, uh, for next year? I mean, how are you going to deal with this whole scheduling situation? What? Um, last year they stuck you at the same time as the, uh, the Penny Arcade Q&A, and this year it's the keynote. So well, kind of shafting you. To be fair, I, think, I, I thought last year we were up against the, the Fallout 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what it was, yeah. But see, that worked out, because no one, no, one no one even played that. <laughs> no, one even, no one even remembers. <laughs> no, I don't know what happened. But you know what? We, I mean, this is a ton of people. Yeah, I mean, considering yeah. what everything that was going on today, like it's the first day. We, you know, the right off. people still show up. You know, exactly. So it doesn't, it doesn't concern me. I, I just hope you guys didn't miss something else that you wanted to see. You know, so you know, whatever. I guess that exactly. That that's the bummer. Yeah. See, this guy. I believe. I believe him. <laughs> you guys. What's what is wrong? Check it out, a new thing. We have uh, scratch and sniff DVDs. Isn't that ridiculous? Like, <laughs> yeah, it is. We want that. <laughs> he gave us this giant list of different scents we could put on it and, like, stuff you don't want DVDs. There was one you don't need a pickle smelling DVD. There was, there was asphalt. asphalt. There was asphalt sand. was one of them. Like, <laughs> grass. Okay. Like, who picks that one? I, you know, um, Robert, I think this DVD would sell a lot better if it smelled like asphalt. Like, just, <laughs> just kind of that roadie smell. You know? Is that for like a cement company? Yeah. We do asphalt. We smell we, like our, de- our cement company demo video. <laughs> yeah, here's what we do and here's what we smell like. Anyways, so we picked Cinnabon. Cinnabon. And they ended up smelling like maple syrup more than Cinnabon. There was a problem. Like It ended up being way more expensive. He quoted us a price to make scratch and sniff DVDs but made a mistake and said... It's going to be way more expensive. Like five times more per disc. Yeah, so we're like, just forget it. And he's like, I'm real sorry. You know what? We'll put a little bit of the scent in and just maybe it'll smell, maybe it won't. Okay. <laughs> so they put a little bit of cinnamon bun scent in there. It ended up smelling like maple syrup. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, scratches the DVDs. That's good enough. Wait, wait, wait. So you're supposed to scratch them? Does yeah, the ones bad last the year. The yeah, ones last year. No, the top, the top. Not the bottom, but... <laughs> okay, it's good that you didn't tell me that. 
But this year we didn't want any scratch and sniff DVDs. But for some reason they still smell like maple syrup, and we don't get it. Maybe we infected like their machine with the smell, <laughs> like all so. DVDs they print now. <laughs> we go to like a major DVD manufacturer, right? so maybe smell whenever we buy a DVD from now on. You know, just give it a shot. Oh smell sweet, it. you know Hancock, my favorite movie. What? <laughs> <laughs> smell it. Okay, I'll be looking forward to asphalt smelling CDs from now on. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Did you ever make a hand pop too? They just signed off. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. So, but also making a first 3D movie. <laughs> no, they're not. Come on. Finally, uh, the, the cartoon. We need some original idea along. movies. Did anyone see District Nine? <laughs> yeah, that there's an example of an awesome movie. Anyone see S Darko? <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. It's S. Starco. <laughs> Better than the first one? That's saying so much. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay. I have a couple of questions for you. First, what is individually your favorite skit you guys have done? Timbo, personally. <laughs> Which has nothing to do with video games, but I love <laughs> vomit and fighting. It's great. I love it. I, uh, go ahead, Rob. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, uh, I, I was just going to It used to be... I, I used to say Paperboy because it was just fun rounding up all my... You know, we were just all together having fun, but, like, I... Recently, I think, uh, our Shadow of the Colossus skit. Just because I thought the, the costume... Garrett did such a good job on the costume, and then uh, the skit t- kind of tells a little story, sort of, kind of, I guess. And just... I just like that game. So, I think maybe that. I like that. I like that. Uh, I think... Maybe Oregon Trail? I really like Oregon Trail. And my part filming Oregon Trail, I was kind of nervous about it, but once I was doing it, I had so much fun just swimming out in that bay, just <laughs> yelling things. So. Another personal favorite that's very high up there is a skit we did for Mist 5. Yeah. Which I don't know if anybody saw that. Yeah, but Rocco having a bum tell him that he is sick. <laughs> it's perfect. Video making at its finest. <laughs> and the other question I have is how did you guys come up with the idea for Marcus? Oh. How did we come up with the idea? Yeah, like what <laughs> was the series of events that led up to Well, Marcus? we knew we wanted a puppet on the show. Because in every public access show, which we were going to be on public access, they had a puppet. And so, but you know, they always, at the end, taught kids morals and they were all, you know, whatever. And we wanted the opposite of that. <laughs> so a really vulgar <laughs> puppet is what we were going for. Originally, we were going to murder him in every episode. <laughs> yeah. In, the, in yeah. the first season, we tase him with the stun gun, and we had plans to like light a bed on fire when he was sleeping in it. Just <laughs> like, real gruesome. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it was specifically stuff. light his bed on fire. <laughs> like, it wasn't like, even just light him on fire. No, no. Dude. He's got to be sleeping. <laughs> it's like, oh, I think he's asleep. <laughs> now you're on fire. And uh, then, so Rocco just bought a puppet. And then I bought it from like some church group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he gave me the puppet and said, You're gonna do the voice, so think of a voice for him. And so I was thinking like this would make a high pitched thing. I didn't know it was whatever. And then Rocco and Derek went to Disneyland, but before they did, they went to a for whatever reason they went to a military base. It's, uh, Nicole who does plays the girls in all our videos, she her parents are in the military, and if you go to the military base you can get discount tickets to Disneyland. And on the way out of the military base is a giant painting on a wall of a massive, like, drill sergeant pointing his finger right at you. And it just says, buckle up. And he looks angry. Didn't it say, didn't it say forget something above that? Or did we add that? I thought it said, like, forget something, yeah, buckle yeah. up. It said, forget something, buckle up. And for whatever reason, I just was driving past that sign, and I'm like... Forget something, son! <laughs> we, were, we were doing that impression the whole way home. They just kept, hey! Forget something, son! Fuck up! Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then we were like, that is so annoying. So, <laughs> so we, we just kept making that it. the puppet. And so, yeah, eventually that just became the voice of Marcus. Was... So, Marcus is based off a giant drill instructor. <laughs> who, who wanted you to wear your seatbelt? <laughs> awesome. It still says Thug Life. Yeah, yes, it still says Thug Life. Abs- absolutely, it does. It's more featured prominent. Awesome. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank, thank you. you. This is, we got like uh, two more minutes or so. Just whatever. Okay, quick two-parter. Uh, sure. I'm 
just trying to remember the name. What is that food you guys always eat? Saber. Saber Because I'm from Canada and I've never tried those. Oh, they're they're all the all the store the yeah. in Seattle. Like, okay. Outside. Are there any? Are there any loose sabertones in the audience? Anybody got a bet? Yeah. Or anything? Oh! <laughs> oh! Hold them up. Would you mind opening? Are they open? Yeah. Would you mind sharing it so that guy could try a sabertone? Yeah. <laughs> now, let me tell you that Derek and I don't like serotonin. Rock oh, they're yeah. disgusting. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're like, like what? Pork rinds. <laughs> oh, are they pork? No, no, it's just wheat. They're chilling in line. And they're, they're wheat crisps. Okay, I'm not ready for this. Let's try this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite it so you can hear the actual crunch, okay? I want to hear the crunch. Oh, man. I can smell it from here. That's good. That's good. I'm sorry. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Second question. Um, thank you, uh, Blue Chirka. If I was, I'm going to write a Mega 64 song, and I'm wondering what it should be about. Whatever your heart tells you. Freedom, but send it to us when you go. Yeah, uh, yeah, we have. Yeah. yeah, whatever it is, do whatever you want, really. Yeah, whatever I want. Whatever you want. Yeah. But I need some guidance. Okay. <laughs> well, write write about the characters of the show. Okay. Just base it around the characters of the show. Make it about okay. lactose intolerance. Yeah, do it about. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't fo don't focus on Rocco, Derek, and Sean, the real men. Focus on the characters of the show. <laughs> okay. Cool. Take, take and and have a verse about what you think our penises look like. <laughs> Like she's optional. been drawing. That's by optional. the way, she's drawing some. I, I, yeah, every I now and I caught her just staring, just like. Yeah. This is what I've seen. Ten minutes. Oh god, I'm out of time. So I'm curious to see she's what she's copying something. It's good. it's good. All right, thanks a lot. Um, one other to add to my review. Um, it's like it's lots of flavor, but it's I don't want to eat a whole bag of those. It's like, <laughs> it's like oh, a couple of those. They're no, it's like it's hot like to really the yeah. They're so yeah. packed with flavor. Exactly. Yeah, it's too much. go a long way, you know? <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks. That would kind of suck. That's like shrink flavored chips. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? When we were filming it that day before, I usually get nervous. I wasn't nervous that day. I'm like, oh, it's going to be easy. Mogs is falling down or whatever. Dude, that, I had no idea of the shit storm that was going to stir up when he falls down. Everyone, call 911. Call 911. And then it's like,